Hey, good afternoon, FBC Salinas. Hope you're having a great day. We are on location for this midweek refresher video, which I'll explain while we're on location here in just a few moments. A few announcements to go over with you right now. And the first is this. This Thursday, we are having an Awana Awards night. Therefore, there is no long look at Luke Bible study. And so Lorraine Aguirre has done a great job with the students, uh, with the children. And so they're having an awards night. It's going to be a great time. And so there's no long look at Luke series uh, this Thursday night. Second announcement is this. I uh, want to remind you about the online service that we offer at 1045 in the morning on Sundays. FBCSalinas.online.church. Great interaction. Want to give a couple parameters real quickly. And keep in mind that we are trying to uh, encourage those who don't normally attend the church and are visiting for the very first time. So inside jokes and things like that don't go over that well. And so we need to keep that in mind. And also pay attention to what's going on in the service. There was, uh, we, we, Adam Matthew did a wonderful job this last Sunday. And so just want to encourage you, if you have something that can add to what's being said, that's fantastic. We want to encourage that to happen. And also this Sunday at 11, from 1130 to one in the afternoon is our Memorial Day hot dog drive through at the church. And so from 1130 in the morning to one o'clock in the afternoon, you're going to get a hot dog, get all the condiments, you're going to get a bag of chips water, and of course, the delicious pie bar. The pie bar has fruit in it, and so it takes care of the fruit group for the food pyramid. So just look forward to that. We're excited about uh, this opportunity. From 11.30 to one o'clock, there'll be a variety of people there, staff and some other individuals there to say hi to you, and we're looking forward to having you join us for that. So as I said earlier, we're on location, and we're interviewing different elders on the, uh, on the team. And so we're on location, we're at a dance studio right now where Don Desmond is doing some work. They're fixing the roof here. And so we're on location, gonna interview Don Desmond and I can pretty much guarantee you a couple things. Number one, he is uncomfortable with this. And number two, this will probably be the shortest midweek uh, mid rapid fire section we have ever had. And so Don, come on in here and uh, just look at the enthusiasm on the man's face right now. So he's thrilled. Good afternoon. Good, thank you, that's good. So good afternoon. We're done. We're not done there. And see, he already wants to be done. We're not done yet, we're not done yet. Very quickly, you just answer these questions. I might push a little bit on them, but you can just answer them however you'd like to answer them. Does that sound okay? They're very safe. Do you trust me or not? I've not seen them ahead of time. So. Okay, that's exactly right. So here we go. All right, you ready? For Here's the first one. Are you a Niners or a Raiders fan? Niners. Okay, why? My cousin used to play for the Portuguese. There we go. There we go. So there it has. Okay, so there's number one. Number two, would you rather wear a collared shirt or a t-shirt? Collared. Collared shirt. Any reason why? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's all that important. See, this is what I'm talking about. What is, uh, what is your favorite book of the Bible? It, it varies. Okay. Right now, I'm looking for wisdom in these times that we're in. Uh huh. So, so probably proverbs. Proverbs. Okay, that works. Okay. What is the favorite thing you have about living in Salinas? The weather. The weather. Okay, that works. Okay. Uh, would you rather use a hammer or a drill? Mm. Hammer. Hammer. Any reason why? So you can get out of aggression or what? No, we have history together. You have history together. What? <laughs> So that works again. Would you rather eat eggs or pancakes for breakfast? Oh man, probably pancakes. Pancakes, a lot of syrup or not much syrup? Yeah, a lot of syrup. A lot of syrup, maple or? Yeah, maple. Maple, maple, we're gonna go that route, okay. Would you rather drive a truck or a car? Oh, truck. A truck, any reason why? History. History, okay, so that works, okay. Would you rather work or relax? Work. Work, okay. You've been working since for how long? How long? Did you 50 go? years. 50 years you've been working nonstop. Okay, so another question is this. Would you rather do deconstruction or construction? Mm, deconstruction. Any reason why? Satisfaction. Satisfaction of seeing it obliterated, right? Yeah. Okay. You get it done in a hurry. Get it done in a hurry. Okay, that works. Believe it or not, you only have two more questions. All right, so you ready for this one? Who's your favorite child, Kylie or Brent? Oh, what day is this? What day is it? It is Tuesday. 
Um, I can't answer that one. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so that was intentional. I expected that type of a response, just so you know. And the last one is this. What do you like most about FBC Salinas? The people. The people, okay? And, and we, we enjoy having you on board and stuff. So it's a privilege to serve. It is. And you do a great job. And, and we appreciate your service so much, John. You know, so, all right. So any other questions? You have any questions for me? No. I told you folks, this was going to be really short. The man is a man of few words, but when he talks, people listen. And because he has great wisdom, there is no doubt about that at all. It's a joy. I just like your wardrobe today. You like my wardrobe today? We just violated social distance. Right? Yeah. Well, We'll deal with it. <laughs> we'll go down together. <laughs> so thank you, sir. I appreciate that. So, hey, Don made, this was an interesting thing. I did not know he was going to say this, but pray for wisdom. And his favorite book right now is Proverbs. Not that we're going to be looking at Proverbs, but we need wisdom in these days. And one of the things I want to encourage us as a church right now, especially, is we have to be united. One of the things that I'm noticing is that people are becoming more and more divided on this whole issue of whether or not it's overblown or whether or not it's not overblown. And, and there, are, there are both sides of this thing are going at one another constantly. But what's interesting is this, is that Christ doesn't call us to look right or left. Christ calls us to look up. He calls us to look up because this relationship that we have with our Father, with Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, the triune God, that relationship is what informs every relationship around there. So instead of us saying this or that about other people, we need to be united. And it's so important because in John 17, we read these words, Jesus's words, my prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them, get this, may be one. Father, just as you are in me and I in you, may they also be in us so that the world, get this, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The most powerful evangelistic tool that we have as believers is when you and I may disagree on something, but we remain united on Jesus Christ. It's been my prayer and it will continue to be my prayer through these days that FBC Salinas is a united group. Yes, we have a variety of opinions on a number of different things, and that's okay. That's part of the body of Christ, but we need to be united on Jesus Christ and what he wants to do in our lives and through our lives. So I want you to know I'm here for you. I love you. I pray for you, and I know this, that God is bringing us together. May we be brought together to make a difference in this kingdom. And may we, just as Don Desmond, may we strive to be wise people in these crazy times. I love you. Have a great rest of the day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.